Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. And I'll be doing the free video for Friday, November 17th, 2023. So the market's about to close here in about 45 minutes, um, but I don't expect too much uh, surprises here, being that it is OPEX and the just kind of the daily candles here that you're seeing. Don't really expect too much uh, to change there. So. Let's uh, let's go back to last Friday. Last Friday, I made a short video, and my goal actually with this one is going to be to make it even shorter because we don't need to overcomplicate things here, guys. Um, last week's video was based on this and this little green arrow right there, the first one, and we talked about that being the signal. So I wanted to boil it all down into just one chart and uh, that was the QQQ weekly chart with the weekly slingshot squeeze and buy triggers. Now, if you get what I'm putting down, you know, when I show you this signal, you don't have to ask about Microsoft or Meta or Amazon or Nvidia or AMD and or any of the other tech stocks. The signal that we're talking about now will push all of those tech stocks collectively higher right so I just finished doing the video for the folks in the premium room and typically you know we, we we look for problems right even when things look good we look for problems I don't see a single problem out there right you have uh, the positioning of folks especially in bigger markets than stocks uh, and those would be the bond market as well as the currency markets with the dollar you have a lot of folks that are very, very large institutions that are very short bonds, uh, especially hedge funds. And you also have those same institutions long the dollar. And as the bonds start to rally, they have to cover those shorts and they're heavily short. So what does that have the effect of doing? That has the effect of pushing bonds up, ZB up, TLT, all that stuff. Uh, and then that has the effect of pushing stocks up because lower interest rates are very positive historically for stocks. So as long as this uh, bond dynamic, right, the the, uh, the interest rate keeps going lower, bonds up, interest rates down, this is going to have the effect of pushing up higher on the QQQ. So keep it simple. Um, you're above all your key levels. You got a hell of a week here in the QQQ. Um, not a lot of follow through, but you're just basically knocking on the door of this double top. Almost certainly will get through, almost certainly gets to 400. And again, the signal is right here in the QQQ. I know that many of you may not be familiar with this, but this is called the structure score. And this is looking at all of the inputs that we would normally look at as traders from the structure up here to all of the momentum signals here. And it gives us a score. A perfect score is a positive 23. Michael Jordan and you can see there that you have a positive 23. This doesn't even factor in the fact that there is a squeeze here and that it is of the most potent variety uh, which is the slingshot squeeze. So you can see the last time that you got buy signals and a squeeze huge move this time buy signals and a squeeze. So don't overcomplicate it, things, guys. Uh, next week, just be mindful of the risk because buying up here is a little bit dangerous uh, for swing trades. Um, but by and large, the signal from last week remains true. The QQQ weekly chart with a perfect structure score and an ideal looking squeeze targeting 400 plus by the end of the year. And if you understand that, then you don't need my help with any of the individual stocks. Uh, if the QQQ goes higher, all of your favorite tech stocks will follow with it. So just try to pick some of the best ones. In my book, those would be Meta, Amazon, Palantir, NVIDIA, and uh, Avgo, Broadcom. All right, guys, that's my time. We'll come back next week, see if anything changed, but for now, the signal remains the same. Leave us a like, leave us a comment before you go somewhere else on the YouTube. It does help us with the algorithm, so we certainly do appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you next Friday. Have a great weekend, guys. Cheers. Hey, traders. This is Sam with Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully, you found the information in it helpful. If you did, leave us a like, leave us a comment, it really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you want to see us trade live with our own real money and be part of the community, come and check us out at simplertrading.com.